the Scorpio Moon personality. Is this your energy? Wow. Now, what is the Moon sign? And what is the Moon personality? Now I'm about to break it down. What is your Moon sign? Your Moon sign is the mother, the nurturer. Yes. The one is the caring aspects of who you are. It's your true self, your inner spirit, and how you react. It's your emotions. And so it speaks of the moon sign. It depends on what zodiac is in your moon. It's how you react and and, and how you it's your need. It's your it's your what you're desperate to be. Like if your moon sign is, for example, if your moon sign is a Virgo, which is like mine's, then a sun Virgo is like a want of what you're striving to be and a Virgo moon is like what you need to be. And so you're most likely to carry out the strong traits of the Virgo moon. Cause this is within you. Cause what's in you always uh, projects out. So with that being said, so your Virgo moon is very important cause it's how you deal with situations due to your emotions and it's your true self. I mean, what you feel in the side. So with this being said, now I just gave it to you about this moon sign. You know what I mean? And you know, this the mother, the, the nurturer, like the sun sign, or your zodiac, your regular zodiac sign is the father. You know what I mean? The moon is your mother. So when you put these two together, wow. And so your rising sign is the child. As simple as that. And so the moon sign is, is hitting. It's hitting. And so with this being said, I just broke it down to you. Now I got to go in. So if you're the Scorpio moon, the Scorpio moon, yes, you are the one who all about the knowledge, the knowledge personality, you like the research, yes, so you are your inner self, who can, you are the, the true uh, people who can keep secrets and who love to uh, research and dive into the secret aspects of the spiritual world, which is metaphysics, you like to go into stuff like that, it's like to pull out the truth. So you are the one who like the research. You make great researchers. You you are the hunter. You you're the you're the the powerful personality who's bold, who's strong, who's focused, and who determined to accomplish your goals. You don't play. And this is one of the most strongest signs there is because you got two planets, which is Mars, give you the the warlike spirit, the fire energy. You know what I mean? To keep you going, they, to give you the ambitious, the drive. So you so you a doer. You get it done. And plus Pluto. Which, which is the planet of power, of chest transformation, you know what I mean, transforming, you know what I mean, so we got fire and water together, which means you got the hot, hot water, which is compassion, and so as Scorpio, wow, you're very powerful, and you can be very secretive, and your sexity is higher than any other sign, it's to the highest, your sexity is high, you can feel it all, all, all throughout your body, is there the, the, the sensuality? So that being said, it's all about the inner knowledge when dealing with you. You're loyal and you're focused, and you, you're the one who could make a decision with no problems. That I mean, and your weaknesses that you could be impulsive, and you could have a, a, a very rusted like spirit. And you, you could be very uh, snappish. You had a temper. Know what I mean? You got a strong personality. And you definitely a hard worker, and you and you and you the uh, think outside of your box type of person. You your own thinker. You know what I mean, you like to be your own person, and you are a leader naturally. Naturally, a leader, charismatic, a leader at that, where people just attracted to 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 you and your leadership skills and your leadership ability, and you got great confidence in yourself because you got that Mars energy, and so you know. You are the type who are the soul of humanity. You are the soul of humanity, uh, what is seen and what is felt, because you can feel the energy. And so it just makes you a psychic or highly intuitive or have a great sixth sense when we're dealing with the water. And so what happened is when you got water and fire, fire, fire even spike, sp spike it up more, and fire makes you ambitious to carry out your psychic ability to read people and to see people. So, see what I'm saying? And the, the water gives you the ability to pick up and to receive it and understand this information. And so you have the intelligence, you know what I mean? And you're very compassionate. And so you love those who you love and those who you love, 
it's your world. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people can't come into your world who you don't know. You know what I mean? If a person don't know you, they're not just going to get into your world because you're very secretive when dealing with your family. They might not even know who your family is after all these years of knowing you. you know what I mean, they might not, they, or they ain't going to know too much about your family because you're not going to give out that information like that. You're very, you're very protective of your family. You're very secretive. Like when it comes to uh, your family issues, a person got to really get to know you. And the thing is about you, you can admire a person from a distance. I mean, you can like a person. They can live way in China somewhere, and you in the U USA. That I mean, you still can can admire them without them even knowing. You might don't even say it. That I mean, a lot of things that you do you, is is most likely not to be is most likely not said. That I mean, but you show it. That I mean, you show it, but it's not it's not seen. Like, like. You you the type who won't give all them compliments out like that there, but the thing is about you, security means a lot to you. That I mean, emotional comfort means a lot to you, and and this comes with an understanding uh, uh, of what others think or feel. That I mean, and you know more than anyone because you can read people like a book. So your gift, your psychic gift, your intuitive gift, where you can read people and you know if they some BS, and so. Your emotions are powerful, it's strong, but you got a calm demeanor. You know what I mean? And so you might not appear to be that. That's why they say secretive side. But on the other side, they see your scrim. They always see your scrim because you, you are who you are. Your emotions are definitely strong. And your confidence is a strong weapon. You know what I mean? So you can make good use of it because you're very brilliant and you're very loyal. You're extremely loyal. And you appreciate anybody that's loyal. You know what I mean? So this. Just don't be so hard-headed because you can be headstrong. And this is a fixed sign so you can be stubborn and fixing your ways so it's for you to start to be so dominating of others. And this is how you win. You know what I mean? You're very focused on keeping things as they are because what works for you works for you. You don't like to change. I mean, so this is the thing about you. No one can change you like that there because you're going to stay the same. It's up to you if things are going to change. Yeah, this is your personality is strong. But this, this makes you a strong leader in any role, in any organization, because once you become a part of an organization and it's right for you and it works, you can be loyal to it to the end. Because loyalty is a must for you. You know what I mean? You got the drive and, and, you, and you got the ambitious. But on the downside, you can be very revengeful. You can have a, a, revengeful, a revengeful emotion, like you very... A person who like to take revenge. And so with it being said, your sexual drive is high. You're very passionate. That'll be, and so passionate love mean a lot to you because you just can't have love that's just a fantasy. You really want to have this love. That'll be, you want to have it. That'll be, so, and sex is very important in this love. And so with it being said, you got the social, social, socialized skills, but, it might don't appear to be until you open up the skills. You know what I mean? You can use your clairvoyance uh, or intuition to help you understand any situation because you have the ability to judge the situation with, with accuracy. And so this is very good. You know what I mean? So by the uh, scope of your moon, you are. And so you definitely is all about living and seeing the best for your people, the ones you love now. And not all type of people because everybody ain't coming into your circle. You know what I mean? So that being said, you're powerful people. You know what I mean? You're all about the knowledge. all about uh, uh, the idea. You're all about the idea of knowing people's emo uh, emotions, knowing what they think, knowing what they feel. You know what I mean? Also, also you got a strong personality where... Where some people look at you as like, wow, this person is powerful, either on the good side or the dangerous side. And so, so for you, don't let everybody or chaos or lies uh, clout your vision. Because you are brave naturally and you have the ability to fight any uh, treacherous people or, the, or the, the deceiving people. You're nasty a fighter because you have the mob spirit in Pluto. 
and you got the ability to overcome any obstacle, no matter if it's mentally, or mentally, physically, emotionally, or whatever. You got the ability to overcome any disease or illness. You have this power. You got to fight a spirit, and this is this is within your emotions, and this definitely would it be, as I just speak about the Scorpio Moon. I shake. 